speaking of recruitment, I mean, it's, it, it's shocking. It's utterly shocking that in 2017, I still have to give this plenary. It's shocking that language schools will still hire teachers based on the mother tongue. It's shocking because it completely disregards professionalism. It disregards all of us as English teachers. And it's also shocking because already 60 years ago, UNESCO stated that a teacher is not adequately qualified to teach a language because it's his mother tongue. Obviously, a little bit of sexism here, uh, stereotypes as we had in Brad's wonderful workshop. Uh, maybe better, it is their mother tongue. So no, being a, a native speaker of the language doesn't qualify you to teach it. This has been repeated by countless and countless researchers, countless of times. However, in our profession, in ELT, it has fallen on completely deaf ears. So I think there's no harm in repeating it again. Shall we? Can you do that for me? One, two, three. Teachers are not born. Teachers are made. And being, as other experts, such as, for example, Professor Henry Widowson, have pointed out on countless occasions, being an expert informant on something, i.e. knowing something, is very different from being able to convey this knowledge in an effective and appropriate manner. Think about it. It applies to all fields, not just the English language. Think about it. I want you to close your eyes for a minute. Don't worry, I'm not going to hypnotize you. But really, close your eyes for a minute and think back to your school days. Do you remember those teachers? Oh, oh I just, I really, they were just so boring. They just, they just blabbed on and on. And the classes were endless. Do you remember those? But now think about those teachers that were so motivating, so energized. They made you so curious, so craving for knowledge that you wished the class would never end. Do you remember those teachers? I, I still remember them to this very day. So no, knowing something is quite different from being able to convey this knowledge. This is my image of an ideal teacher, right? Of course, a teacher needs a wealth of subject, subject knowledge. I grant you that. A teacher, a foreign language teacher, needs to know their language. But I don't think they need to have C2 level. We can argue what's the appropriate level. And of course, the teacher needs to know the language they're teaching. However, to equate knowing a language or being a native speaker with being a better teacher is simply to ignore volumes and volumes of academic research on what makes effective teachers. I mean, it's a bit tricky to define what teaching effectiveness is because it can vary depending on the cultural context, geographical context, and so on. However, hundreds of studies, if not thousands of studies in different contexts have been done. And they all seem to point in similar directions. So, an effective language teacher needs to have high language awareness. They need to understand learners' culture, learners' needs, and possibly learners' first language. They need to be a role model in order to motivate learners. They need to be able to critically reflect on the teaching and improve. And finally, they need high pedagogical knowledge in order to be able to plan the classes accordingly and adjust the methodology. To stay up to date, follow Tefl Equity on social media. We're on Twitter, at Tefl Equity, on Google+, on YouTube, and on Facebook. You can also visit the website for free resources such as lesson plans, webinars, and blog posts. And you can also support the campaign for equal professional and employment opportunities for native and non-native speakers.